All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to some more Vanguard. Sorry for not uploading the last couple of days. I've just had a ton of stuff going on. As you can see by my level, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play either. But the one nice thing is they did extend the beta until the 22nd, so I've got a few more days with this. I still haven't quite managed to unlock the car, but from what I've seen, I don't really think it's gonna matter too much. It doesn't seem all that much better than the three-line rifle. Plus, I've actually been having a lot of fun reg gunning, so yeah, we're just gonna hop back into some blitz here and see what's what. And real quick, while we're searching here, if you do enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like. And if you knew and you haven't yet, then subscribe and stick around. YouTube's been kind of weird with like sending my videos to subscribers. I've seen some people saying that like they haven't been seeing them in their feed and they haven't been getting notifications even though they have the stupid bell clicked or whatever. So I imagine like leaving a like or whatever probably helps with that. So yeah. But yeah, like I was kind of saying, I've been red gunning a lot over the last couple days. I've already completely maxed out the MP40 and I'm basically completely maxed on the STG here as well. What are you? What? What? Uh, dude, I swear to God, I was surrounded by smoke. You guys saw that, right? Actually, you know what's funny is a lot of this like graphical shit I've been complaining about recently is apparently console exclusive because I've been watching a lot of uh, PC gameplay on Twitch and stuff and the game looks and seems to run fucking fantastic over there. The other thing that apparently is native to console or at the very least my console, I'm sure you can see that fucking little packet loss thing that keeps popping up off on the left there, dude. The server connection this weekend in particular has been atrocious, at least for me anyway. Anyway, dude, every single game I've been in has been lagging all over the place. It's actually funny. I had like a list of uh, performance-based issues or what I thought were performance-based issues that I was going to like complain about and say, hey, you know, Sledgehammer, you might want to fix these by the time the game comes out. Because I was kind of saying this before, like the movement on this beta actually feels really, really good when you like get a lot of momentum and you're able to like slide cancel consistently. And just sometimes it doesn't work properly. Like your character won't do what you think they should be doing. And originally I thought this was an issue with the movement system, but after looking back at some of my recorded footage and kind of noticing where the lag was taking place, I realized almost everything that I had issues with can be chalked up to server lag. Now, I'm sure they'll fix the servers by the time the game comes out. I hope anyway. So in theory, a lot of these problems will be fixed. But like on Saturday, for example, I was trying to grind this game out and every lobby I was getting into was just completely unplayable. Strictly because of the lag as well. It had nothing to do with the players or like anything wrong with the game's design. It was literally just the game was stuttering so fucking badly. I couldn't play. Although speaking of the players, I will say, man, I don't know if it's because they like cranked it up for this weekend or if it's because there's PC and Xbox players now, but dude, the skill based has felt horrible this weekend. The reason I didn't talk about skill based in my videos that I did on the first beta weekend was because honestly, I didn't think it was that bad. I played a good bit on the first weekend and I had a lot of really good games in a row. And like on Cold War, for example, that shit would never happen. I'll get one, maybe two games like that. And then it just tosses me into the fire, you know? But last weekend, it actually seemed to be pretty nice. But this weekend, dude, all hell has broken loose. I'll have one good game and then it's just the end of the fucking world and everybody's trying to be scump and jumping around with MP40s with the fucking incendiary rounds and shit. That's another thing I hope Sledgehammer does by the time the game comes out, by the way, is remove the incendiary rounds from the game. Just get rid of them. The incendiary and the frangible rounds that you can use on the STG. There is no reason for these to be in the game. Don't balance them. Don't change how they work. Don't try and make them like fun and balanced or some shit. Just get rid of them entirely. I guarantee the game will be much better. I, what the fuck? Where did you come from? The spawns are another thing that absolutely need to be fixed by the time the game comes out. Like, it is so bad, dude. The number of times that either I'll kill somebody and they'll spawn right behind me, or the other classic, which is all the times that somebody will kill me and then I'll spawn, like, right in front of them. But, of course, I'm facing away from them, so I can't fight back, you know? Actually, speaking of the skill-based matchmaking, it's kind of funny. Right before I was recording this, I was playing a little bit, and I had two or three games in a row where there was somebody on my team reverse boosting. Like, just straight up standing in the back and killing themselves. I had this one game where a guy on my team was like two and 54 or something like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I definitely get it. Skill base can be a pain in the ass. Most of us don't want to deal with it. I mean, the point's been talked to death, obviously. I don't need to bring it up again, but it's just not fun to play into. So like, I totally get it. Oh, 
I mean, hopefully the devs or somebody at Activision is able to look at the fact that there are people on this beta that would literally rather spend time in the back of the map killing themselves over and over again than play into their skill-based matchmaking system. See that, and then hopefully at least adjust it a little bit, you know? Like, they have to know we're sick of it at this point. I know they think it's working, but it's not. Look at Cold War. That shit is a fucking dead game right now, and I guarantee that skill-based matchmaking is 90% of the problem. Anyways, I am gonna do my best to upload something for the next couple days of the beta, but to be honest, I'm not really sure how much I'm gonna be playing over the next few days. Once I unlock the car, I'll probably give it a try at the very least, but I doubt I'm gonna do what I did with the three-line rifle and, like, go out of my way to try and get it to max level and get all the attachments and see it as fast as possible and all that stuff, because honestly, I'm just holding out hope that they wind up buffing the snipers, so hopefully by the time the game comes out, the car will not feel the way that it does right now and I won't have to worry about it. Dude, the lag makes my sensitivity feel weird as well, because, like, sometimes I'll try to, like, move my reticle a certain amount in a direction and then for whatever reason, the lag makes it just go absolutely crazy. Like, I cannot wait for the full game to come out and I can play on servers that aren't literal fucking potatoes, because that's, like, 90% of the reason why I'm kind of just done with the beta at the moment. It has nothing to do with whether or not the game is fun. It's literally just these servers are unplayably bad. What the fuck just happened there? If only I could see what happened just there, you know? That's another reason why I really want those, like, frangible rounds removed from the game and stuff, is it's like, in a game like this, where there's already so many visibility issues, you really don't need more things fucking up your screen, you know what I mean? Like, I realize that the visibility is much better on PC and stuff, but I feel like it doesn't make for a fun game to play to just have your vision constantly be obstructed by something. Dude, I swear the MP40's time to kill is the most inconsistent thing in the fucking world. There are points where, like, this thing two-shots people, and then there's points where I'll pump, like, seven bullets into a guy, and he just won't die. Like, they need to tweak the headshot or the body multipliers or something on here, because, like, the level of inconsistency with the time to kill on this shit is actually ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I don't know what the fuck just happened there, dude. Oh my god, man. Can't get anything going this game, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, it's always somebody next to me. And he just spawned there too. That spawn in the hallway is all fucked up. They'll just throw your whole team there and they don't give a fuck where anybody else is standing. Yeah, honestly, it's night and day the difference in how much fun I have between sniping and red gunning on this game. If they don't wind up buffing the snipers, I might just red gun all year. It actually feels decent. Anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up here. Like I said, gonna try my best to upload something for the rest of the beta. Thankfully, they extended it so I have more time to play. I'll try and unlock the car for tomorrow. Maybe I'll see if I can do something with that. Obviously, it's gonna be level one, so I'm probably not gonna have a great time with it, but we'll see how that goes. And yeah, as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you wanna come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.